back. It's been a year. We were talking about it last time, right? We were sitting in director's chairs and you weren't as tall, but here we are again and it's so good to see you. Congratulations. I'm never speechless, but I'm like, all, it's like all. Give me one word at least then, if, if not. Yeah, it's like amazing. It's <laughs> Justin just got more time. <laughs> no, no, we'll make it quick, I promise, Gail. Trying to do a reboot. From what I've heard, see, I believe spoiler. that they are my proposal trying led to a spoiler. To do, it happened because of this interview. They're trying to do a reboot. That's it. What does tonight really mean to you in terms of celebrating Mr. Louder? Well, it means a lot. He's been a very important influence on my life for the last 25 years, and I love him. You're known for making people laugh. You're doing it right now. I, I can't look at you and not think to myself, this guy has built such an incredible career on being so authentically himself and just making people laugh for the better good of society. Some of the shows and presentations happening this week are even taking place in townhouses across New York City and we're here to chat with Jasmine Chong just about how this made her show so different. And you can tell that when you connect with someone. You, oh, well, straight away, like, like we've been chatting straight away and <laughs> before we even came on air. <laughs> You were like, we, we probably need to start this camera because we were just chatting for ages. You have been a part of two incredible shows on BET Networks that have kind of changed the landscape but also helped mold the landscape. How important do you feel like it is to, to be educated and if you're not given the opportunity um, to be educated and to ultimately educate yourself? Look, I'm obsessed with education, and, and a lot of people who are watching right now know that I'm a historically bad student. Since you're not going to congratulate yourself, I'm going to congratulate you. <laughs> how important it is right now, how timely it is to do an event uh, such like the one that we're doing in order to raise money for such an incredible campaign like No Kid Hungry, but also to bring reality stars into the same room who have not yet met each other. Thank you for being a great representation of what we would all like to see as TV hosts as storytellers and ultimately as employees of the company. You guys are known for being so funny and now you got a movie that kind of compiles everything you guys have been up to all over these Thanks, years. Thanks man, Hollywood yeah. Reporter loved the movie. <laughs> Welcome back to the interview series. I'm joined now by professional Latin and ballroom dancer Lindsay Arnold. We're shooting the artwork for the song and I'm basically going to be laying in fake clouds and so I just went to Michael's and I got a bunch Hot of cotton. I knew you were going to say that. Go ahead and grab your rosé and uh, tell us what you'd like to dedicate this toast to. But what does Ryan really want uh, when thinking about the lives you're influencing and changing while you get to do what you love now? And you did it, you're here. For this specific collection, what was on your mind about it? Yeah, I mean, I just wanted to really celebrate people. Thank you so much again for joining the show. Yeah, too. It's not only me. In this show, there are two people who instill hope in people and happiness. 